What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Reaper's Exploration channel. My name is Brian. If you're new here, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions of places I should go here in Central Illinois for ghost hunts or urban legends, let me know down in the comments as well. So in this first video, I ended up going to a place called Crybaby Bridge. Now I know every place, every state, every city almost has a Crybaby Bridge. Well, I think I found the one here in my area. Um, I'm not 100% on that. I based it off of what I was told. Okay, so in this video, um, I didn't get out of the car. I ended up having... Uh, John and Stitch were actually supposed to go with me. Uh, they had other things to do at the time. So I ended up going by myself. So I never got out of the car. Uh, the road was extremely dark. It was... A little sketchy in my opinion it's between two towns so the it's pretty used road in between those two cities so just for safety concerns I never got out of the car okay so I ran four tests um, first test I ended up using the TikTok effect the uh, reality ripple a lot of people have been catching things on that app so I thought I would try it out. So let's just see how that turned out. Alright, come on. That red light's just coming from the uh, GoPro, so that's nothing. Alright, let's set that off. Let's just try pure darkness. <sighs> Come show yourself if there's anyone here. Why is it doing that? Spirit doing that? Do it again. Do it again. I want a clear face or body. I think it's just catching the fog off of the, uh... There, let's try this. That's even worse, and that's outside of the car. Stop if that's you. Stop if that's you. Start again. Nope. I think it's just the fog on the mirror. That's what I'm going to chalk that up as. Come on, show yourself. That's not impressive. You gotta show me more, please. All right, we're gonna stop that. So while I was using the app, I did get a lot of feedback on it. Um, you, you were seeing the color change patterns and stuff, but I honestly think that could have been going from a cold car to a hot outside or a hot environment outside and uh, it was causing that to have the colors change in the manner it was. So in a sense, I, I think we can debunk that one as 
the condensation in the car, and on top of that, the temperature change. So the second test I ran was K2. Um, I was trying to get intelligent responses. I did get a few, but let's just see how that turns out. Make it go to yellow. Okay, do it again. Make... Are you a grieving mother? If so, make it go to yellow. Can you make it spike to red? Come touch this. Come touch this. I know you're scared. I'm not here to hurt you. I just want answers. Make it spiked to yet red. Not really getting a response on the K2. I shut it down. So I was I was sitting in a car that was running, so that there could have been interference with that. So honestly, I'm gonna have to chalk that one up as debunked as well, because there was electronics and everything around me at the time. If I would have been outside the car and it was responding in the manner that it was, it would have been a different story. I probably would have believed it a little bit more. So I think that one's debunked as well. So the third test I ran was there's a theory, or the legend is, if you yell, cry baby, are you there? You could start to hear crying and sounds around you, responses and things like that. So let's see how that one turned out. Cry baby, are you there? Cry baby, are you there? I heard a noise, but it could have very well just been a frog or a cricket. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna have to really review that part. Now I did mention in the video that that part of the video that I did hear something. Honestly, I think it might have been a frog. There is a body of water sitting right there. It's a creek. Come to find out later, but I'm pretty sure it was a frog that I heard. I don't even hear it on the video. If you do hear something, please let me know in the comments. So the final test was another urban legend about crybaby bridge if you put your car in neutral spirits will push the vehicle well i did that let's see how that one turned out all right we're almost dead smack in the middle of this so we're in neutral oh we are moving
I'm gonna have to move us up. We're stuck in a crack. But this is actually uphill. Keep pushing. Come on. Okay, so I the car was moving. But the thing is there was a divot in the middle of the road. So honestly, I think the gravitation was being pulled that way because there's a little slope in that little divot and I think that's the reason why the car was moving. So in my honest opinion, it's debunked once again. So my final conclusion on Crybaby Bridge in my area is it's nothing more than what most of them are, an urban legend. Now there is another place here in Illinois that I really want to go to because people have been getting, ha, that have went there, have had haunted experiences and it's in Mammoth, Illinois called the Real Crybaby Bridge. That's the Illinois one. I know there's one, there's a bunch everywhere, but that's the one I'm going to end up doing later on. But all in all, it was nothing more than urban legend debunked. Once again, thank you for visiting my channel. I can't wait to do more of these urban legend chases, investigations. Uh, if you know of any in the central Illinois area, please let me know. I really want to do these again. I think they're a lot of fun. But until then, I'll catch you on the next one.